Howdy folks. This video is all about using breakout rooms and creating them in advance in Google Calendar. And so if you are wanting to build them before your students arrive, Calendar is the best way to go about doing that. So I'm going to set up an event here in Google Calendar. I'm going to give it a name. And if I want to get more deep down into the settings, I need to hit more options. It's just easier to see. I'm going to invite a group of students. So I'm going to go over here to guests. So I have several students added to this event. The next thing I'm going to do is select my Google Classroom calendar. So that way when students visit Google Classroom and they click on Google Calendar, it'll actually show up on that calendar as well. It'll also show up on their personal ones since I am inviting them directly. I'm going to hit add and click on the gear. So that way I can adjust the settings. The first thing I will do is turn off quick access because I only want those students to ask to join. And I don't want to necessarily make it available for all students to participate in this session. I'll set up the breakout rooms and they do already preset it ready to go. You can decide how many rooms you need and you can shuffle the order and you can clear the order, but then you have the option to customize this as well. So I'm going to switch this back to two rooms. And then what I will do is with my fake student, I'm going to have just the odd numbers here. Let me switch that. So now I should have fake student workshop one, workshop three, and workshop five together, two, four, six, and K together. And when I go to this Google Meet, it should be ready to go. Now when I'm ready, I'll go ahead and send the event to the students. Now when I'm ready to start this event, I'll go to the calendar event, hit join Google Meet. I need to make sure though, is that I join the meet before they get there. They can go to Google Calendar and they can access that through their classroom tab in Classwork. Click on Calendar, it'll open up a new tab and they'll see their event there. They could have gone straight to Google Calendar as well, but sometimes it's a little easier for them to navigate and understand if they do it through Classroom. So by having that quick access turned off, I have prevented any students that should not be in this event from actually getting into it, they would pop up with a box stating accept or deny. So I would deny those students that should not be in this session. If I were to start breakout rooms with all these students, I would hit the activities button. When I hit the activities button, then I can go to breakout rooms and you'll see that when I hit set up breakout rooms, they are already set and ready to go the way I had them set in the calendar event. So this is really handy because then I can have them preset, ready to go. I don't have to be fumbling around trying to make them work during a Google Meet session with students. So now that I have this ready to go and I hit open rooms, those students would be automatically set and ready to go. So that's a nice feature within Google Calendar that you can preset your breakout rooms well in advance. I hope you found this video to be helpful.